Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the official Dokkan Twitter page has revealed the details for the upcoming Transforming Bojack on JP. So in today's video, we're going to find out exactly what he does and also have a little discussion about just how good he actually is. Now on top of that, we're also going to be getting a new tech uh, Sangya, who's going to be a secondary summonable unit on the Bojack banner. So We'll also talk about what she does as well, but before we get into the details for these guys, let's uh, start off by watching both of their animations here. I haven't seen the whole thing, I was waiting for the video, but I have heard that they're both very nice, so I'm definitely excited. Let me just turn off my own music here, throw on some headphones, and here we go. Alright, um, yo, that was clean, that was really clean, now, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw my face when I was watching the Zonya animations, but she is, she's actually fine, man, yo, like my boy Krillin says, space chicks are hot, <laughs> space chicks are hot, there's clearly a Zonya fan uh, over at the Bandai Studios or Akatsuki Studios, whoever made this animation, uh, they clearly like her a lot because they did her justice. All right, I wasn't expecting much from you know her animations, but yo, it's nice. It's nice. And then for Bojack, of course, uh, both of his animations, both of his super deck animations are very clean. Both the you know regular Bojack and full power Bojack, and then the uh, transformation into full power is pretty badass. So I mean, yeah, not much to say here. I think it's awesome. Uh, let's just finish watching this one more time before we move on to his details. Damn, yo, good job. Good job, Akatsuki. Good job, Bandai. Yo, you guys uh, have been killing it with... I mean, I, yeah, I can't think of a single animation, honestly, recently for like new summonable units that I've been like, yo, that sucks. That's boring, because like, Gogeta looks awesome, Bojack looks awesome, uh, the transforming Frieza looks awesome. Like, it's been a while since we've had a disappointing animation, I think, so... There you go, those are the animations. Now let's move on to the uh, actual details for both him as well as Zongnya. We're gonna start with, yo, I can't say her name properly. I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time. Zongnya, Zongnya. Anyways, for Bojack, his leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, which is a brand new category, key plus three HP attack and defense plus 170%. Now, one thing that does worry me is the fact that it is 170% across the board, and generally speaking, with a few exceptions, but usually when um, the leader skill is 170 for all three stats, the category is not amazing. I mean, the crossover category that the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito leads is actually really good, so there are exceptions. It's just like, I'm a little bit worried by the fact that it's not like, you know, 170 to attack and defense and then 130 to HP or, you know, something like that, right? So we'll have to see. Space Traveling Warriors, um, in my mind, would actually encompass a lot of characters in the franchise. Uh, but hopefully, whatever it ends up being, we don't know right now, we haven't seen the actual full list, but uh, whatever it ends up being, hopefully it's at least a good category, because, yeah, this worry, worries me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Either way, um, he also leads Time Travelers, keep plus three, HP attack and defense, plus 100 and 50%. His super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, space traveling warriors, category key plus two, um, attack and defense plus 30% when facing one or more enemies. 
plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing two or more enemies, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing three or more, more enemies. So basically the way he works is that, um, yeah, if you're facing only one enemy, then he gives space traveling warriors allies he plus two attack and defense plus 30%. And then if you're facing two enemies, then it's going to be attack and defense plus 40%. And then if you're facing three enemies, it's going to be attack and defense plus 50%. So he has the potential to be an amazing, amazing support unit. There have been a lot of comparisons to STR Cooler, and rightfully so, because they do work very similar. Their kits are very similar. But the thing is, Cooler is a support unit for transformation boost, which is obviously one of the best categories in the game, right? Space Traveling Warriors, kind of a question mark at the moment. If it ends up being a really good category, then this is going to be amazing. Um, if not, though, then obviously it's not going to be as good as Cooler. Um, there have been a lot of comparisons, by the way, yeah, to Cooler for both the untransformed state as well as the transformed state, which we'll talk about in a second. And uh, in terms of which one is better, I think most people still feel like Cooler is the superior unit. I'm not 100% sure about that. I am leaning towards that as well, just because transformation boost versus, you know, space traveling warriors, which is a bit of a question mark. If it's a really good category, though, then this is going to be amazing, right? And um, we'll just have to see, I guess. We'll have to see. But that's his passive before transform uh, transformation. And then his active skill, obviously, is transformation into full power and can be activated when facing only one enemy, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. His links are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Coward, Revival, and Fierce Battle. So Lynx, um, here's the thing, he's gonna be an amazing linking partner for the LR Bojack, but uh, in terms of like linking with the rest of the units in this game, it's gonna be kind of hard to find like a great linking partner. That's also another thing that makes, um, I think the STR Cooler superior are, are the link sets, right? Uh, Cooler has just a lot more viable linking partners, whereas this guy, not as much. Like, the Zhongya is going to be good, other Bojacks are going to be great, but, uh, or, you know, the LR Bojack, basically, but, um, yeah, it's, it's you know, a few, a few links here that are not as awesome, like Coward, Revival, Galactic Warriors, Hera Clan, obviously, kind of niche, right? Uh, he has a lot of categories though, Resurrect Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Terrifying Conquerors, Inhuman Deeds, and Space Traveling Warriors. And his stats are interesting. Okay, his attack stat at Rainbow Status is quite low for a Dokkan Fest unit, 15,802. But his defense is really, really high, 12,403, and then 17,640 HP. Once he transforms into Full Power Bojack, his super attack raises attack infinitely and causes immense damage. When I say infinitely, I mean like it keeps the boost every time, right? So it's 30% for 99 turns. So just like the STR cooler, same thing. They both raise attack or are attack stackers. And passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 180%, just like the, um, the uh, final form cooler. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, still exactly the same. But this part's different. Plus an additional attack plus 30% and defense plus 15% when attacking with three or more key spheres obtained, and then plus an additional attack plus 30% and defense plus 15% with six or more key spheres obtained. So this part is actually uh, very reminiscent of the int LR cell, um, where you know the more key spheres you obtain, the more stat boost you get. So at three key spheres, you get this boost, and then at six key spheres, you get both of these boosts. So for Cooler, he's not getting additional stats. He's actually just getting that guaranteed crit against uh, Hybrid Saiyans and Pure Saiyans, right? Which obviously is amazing. But uh, in terms of the boost on his passive, Bojack actually gets a much bigger boost than um, the Cooler does. And once it's all calculated, because each of the boosts are calculated separately, he actually gets a total attack boost of 264% and defense boost of 222% with three or more key spheres obtained, and then with um, six or more key spheres obtained, he's actually getting 348% attack and 264% defense. So in terms of damage output, I haven't seen the calculations because he has lower attack than Cooler. I'm not really sure how they compare in terms of damage output, but 
when it comes to defense, there's no question in my mind that the Bojack's gonna be a better tank than Cooler, which obviously wasn't... I wouldn't say it was a huge issue, but it was definitely an issue with the Final Form Cooler, because on some of the harder events in the game, he does get punished pretty hard, because his defense doesn't really hold up that well, right? So, um, in terms of tanking goes, Bojack is the superior unit, but uh, offensively, I'm not sure yet. He is going to be getting a huge boost, but with lower attack, I'm not really sure how the math works out. I'm sure he's going to be hitting really, really hard, though. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys can see, you know, why. There's been so many comparisons to Cooler, and uh, a lot of people do think that Cooler is the better unit. I'm still a little bit undecided, but obviously his links. And uh, the fact that it's space traveling warriors that he's, you know, uh, a support unit for, you know, is, is a question mark, right? Until we see what, you know, this category looks like, I can't really fully determine, or it's hard to say, like, um, definitely, like, how good that passive is. But if it ends up being a great category, then that's going to be an amazing support passive right there. I mean, for his own team, basically, um, he's going to be the best possible support, and uh, he's going to have a lot of synergy with basically... You know everybody even if you don't run him on the main rotation you can just have him on the off rotation as a you know support unit uh he's gonna be great for that too so yeah bojack looks really good he, he looks very very strong the main question a lot of people have is is he better than cooler and um uh, i'm not sure yet i'm not sure yet but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that in terms of the comparison because uh they're obviously very easy to compare since their kits are so similar after all right so that's the Bojack, and before we go, let's quickly talk about Sangya. Her leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, super attack, supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and her passive is attack and defense plus 30%, her Space Traveling Warriors category ally on the team, and then launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there's an ally whose name includes Bojack attacking in the same turn. Attack enemies attack and defense minus 20%, recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn. So, uh, yeah, she's a very good secondary unit. Not really uh, too much more to say here. Um, Lynx, of course, Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Battlefield Diva, Brutal Beatdown, Revival, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle. She shares quite a few links with the new Bojack. But obviously, if you have LR Bojack, then LR Bojack is always going to be the better option over her as the new Bojack's thinking partner. And uh, categories are Peppy Gals, Resurrected Warriors, Time Travelers, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors. So that's Zanya for you right there. And that's going to be the video, guys. Um, I think I rambled on a little bit longer than I was hoping to, but hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. And uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about Bojack. I'm a big fan. I'm super excited. Both his animations and his stats, his kit, uh, look amazing. So regardless of whether or not he's better than cooler he's still gonna be one of the best TURs in the game for sure right that's not even a question and uh yeah guys that is the video thank you so much for watching as always you know what let's leave off on the animation here okay so as always yo lasagna is nice anyways uh <laughs> if you guys liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.